Yo, what's going on guys? Dr. Brute 7 signing in back with another Nintendo emulator demonstration tutorial. This time it's going to be for the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, the latest entry in the Zelda series. Yeah, I'm taking a very risky approach here because I got a lot of my contents deleted. Some of them didn't even make any sense, but whatever man, I'll keep on making them so and, and hope for the best. This game I'm running on the Ryu Jinx emulator. Yuzu emulator also is able to run the game. However, it's, it's a hassle to run it on the user emulator, at least with my hardware settings. So right now, as you can see, the game is running quite smooth, but still there are a lot of stutterings that are going on. Pretty sure it's because I am running it off an external hard drive. Definitely, the gameplay performance is going to increase a lot if we're going to run it through the internal hard drive. Uh, if it's being run through an SSD, then it's going to be even better. So I'll just get to that in a moment. I'm just showing you guys like what's going on here, how the game is playing. Some stuttering because I'm playing it on OpenGL settings. Those with greater and higher hardware capabilities like graphic settings, graphic cards, I would definitely recommend you guys to run it through Vulkan setting. I'll get to the settings in a bit and what's not because uh, it's a bit tricky with the latest updates and everything that got released just for this game. We'll talk about that after I'm done demonstrating this game a bit. And then I'm going to transfer this game onto my internal SSD, my laptop's SSD. And then we're going to talk a little bit more. All right, let's continue. The game is running pretty smoothly. So first of all, I'm using OpenGL. Secondly, the shaders are being loaded constantly. And with my computer's configuration, which is quite decent for a laptop, but still, when it comes to the cinematics, it's running pretty okay. No graphical glitches or stuttering. Audio is pretty awesome. So yeah, you can get the picture here. Let's just switch it up. I'm going to transfer the game into my internal hard drive and then we're gonna check this game a little bit more. And then we're gonna jump straight into the technicalities. The very first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your emulator is updated to the latest version. So whenever you're going to start the emulator and it prompts you to update to the latest version, you're going to do that. Second is you're going to have to update the firmware of the emulator. Before getting to the firmware, you're going to require the keys. Keys are like the product and title keys. You need to update those every time a new firmware version gets released. I'm not going to talk about how to acquire those keys. It's not allowed. It's not legal. I learned it the hard way, so I'm not going to talk about that. That's that. So just acquire the product and title keys, the latest version. Apply those keys. I'm just going to show you guys where to apply the keys, where, where you're going to copy and paste those keys. So just go into file through the emulator, select open Ryujinx folder. So once this shows up, go into systems, paste the updated product and title keys. That's how we're going to apply them. Second comes the firmware. Make sure that you apply the latest version of the product and title keys first, otherwise the firmware is not going to be installed. It's going to give you an error message. Head over to tools and the first option, install firmware and install a firmware from a directory. Download the firmware files and extract the contents. And this here is the firmware file. You're just gonna go and open it it will show you this notification that says install firmware 16.0.2 which is the latest version i already have it installed you can see it to the bottom right corner of my emulator after that restart the emulator go into options go into settings go into system enable vsync enable profiled persistent translation cache after that go into graphics enable shader cache and enabled macro hle just have it checked marked to improve the performance especially for lower end systems like mine you might encounter some graphical glitches it only happened once and resolution scale i set it to native select the ones which favors your hardware post processing effect is set to fxaa set this according to your graphical capability upscale i have set it to nearest you can set it to bilinear anistrophic filtering i have set it to 2x aspect ratio 16 is to 9 apply and then save so we're done with the setup and configuration of the emulator okay guys so i just transferred the game file 
onto my internal SSD you need to make sure that you are running the game off an SSD and obviously you can see that the game is getting stuck a little bit however it won't be the same for your case just because my computer's hardware is not that great what happened to my sword well it got messed up all right guys so that was the setup and configuration tutorial of Ryujinx to run tears of the kingdom if you found it useful and informative please make sure to drop in a like and subscribe i have a discord server discord channel where with a growing community a lot of people are in that server and still more joining lots of help and uh, yeah if you have any kind of questions if you want to just hang out and discuss video games feel free to join the server if not that's totally fine by me so yeah just uh, continue with the support appreciate all the support really appreciate it until next time dr Brute 7 signing off peace <laughs>